So in that next video, we're gonna act, we're gonna see how to factory reset uh, your IP module. Um, at this point, your um, uh, technician might have asked you to um, a power cycle it. You may or may have may not have done that, but the second step would be to power cycle the IP module. So you see here between the I/O one and I/O two, there is a little hole that says reset. So you're gonna get a paper clip okay like this so don't don't use the big one use the small one the, the the small size paper clip and then you're going to put it here okay and then you hold it down for uh, five to ten seconds until those two lights start blinking like wait you're gonna press it down you're gonna feel a little click you keep holding it down until those blink once you blink once they blink you release and then press right away so we're gonna see so one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi four mississippi five mississippi that's okay release click we're done so it's gonna take some time you wait until everything comes back online <clears throat> okay So now, now we're back online. So that's it. The, the, the IP module is factory reset. Uh, the password is uh, wiped out. Everything is back to default, to factory default. Uh, you should only do this if you are asked, asked by the technician because um, if, uh, if you have an older model IP module, it uh, might cause, like you might, you might wipe uh, important information and you might end up having to do a service call or a remote, um, remote service call. That's it.